Hey guys, Drew from Fighting Evolved. This week's video, it's on the karambit. Had a lot of inquiries lately on the website and YouTube channel, more karambit drills, more karambit combos. That's exactly what you're going to get today. You're going to get two karambit combos and the empty hand application. Karambit's a pretty amazing weapon. It brings out a very unique body mechanic that you can only get from training with a weapon with a concave surface like this. So with the karambit, you can actually hook with the backside. You can hook with the front side. You can thrust and you can slash. When you start to train with the karambit, you're going to notice there's a lot of figure eight movements. That's one of the unique mechanics that you get from training with a weapon in this design. I generally save the karambit for some of my more advanced students. I like to start with a straight dagger, forward grip, and reverse grip. This is what you're typically going to see on the street when somebody pulls a knife. So it's important that you know how to fight with that and you know how to defend those grips. So take a look at these two combos and then we'll talk about it afterwards. All right, guys, we're going to break these techniques down so you can see exactly what's happening. This is my youngest son's best friend, Jimmy James. So thanks for helping me out today, James. No problem. Appreciate it. So James is going to throw this left hand. I'm going to cut inside. He's going to throw that right hand. I'm going to cut the brachial artery and the bicep here. Bring it across. Slash. Slash again. Slash the abdomen. Come up for a one arm choke. Knee. Release the blade. Cut the neck on the way out. One more time. He jabs. Get the brachial artery in the biceps. He punches. Brachial artery in the biceps. Slash. Slash the arm. Through the abdomen. Up into our standard Muay Thai. One arm in. Knee. Release. Slash the neck on the way out. Okay. Right, one. Second combo. Same entry. Parry inside. Hit the brachial artery, he punches, hit the brachial artery, allow the weapon to come out, use the back side of the knife to hook, circle him out, cut the neck, overhand, uppercut, overhand. One more time, carry in, brachial artery, brachial artery, circle around, hook, pull the knife out, overhand, uppercut, overhand. There you go, two karambit combos and the empty handed applications. So you can see the direct translation from the blade to the empty hand. That's what's so amazing about the art of Kali is everything you're learning from the weapon can be directly translated to empty hand work. One thing you're gonna notice from the Fighting Evolve system is that we like to strike with the weapon. You're gonna see a lot of Kali systems, a little bit more passive, a little bit more fluid, and that's okay. I mean, they're beautiful techniques. But I believe that if you're going to hold that karambit and you can actually strike with it, why not utilize that on top of all of the other circumferential movements that you're doing? You know, six, seven hundred years ago, a lot of people don't know Western boxing actually came from the double dagger. In the Philippines, they would fight with those two knives like that. And that's where a lot of the Western boxing techniques that we train today come from. So in order to pay homage and just to be a little bit more aggressive while knife fighting, I do like to incorporate a lot of strikes particularly with the karambit or whenever I'm working in reverse grip with a single dagger. All right, guys, questions, comments, concerns, post below. You can always reach out to me at the website at Druid Fighting Evolved. Till next week, train hard, train smart, train for a lifetime.